stream. It was a lot of fun to play in, and um, I think it's nice. You know, a bit of the pressure was off, um, so we, you know, we were concentrating on having fun, and um, it wasn't the prettiest of touch at the time, <laughs> um, but um, but it was played in the right spirit, both us and Cambridge as well. So that was really nice. G Force look to have got on the scoreboard once again and lead by three points to one. So they only need this win to claim the championship trophy. And we haven't seen G Force so. G-Force looking to try and get things back underway. Just driving one up the middle, take the defenders in and then uh, and then spread it out to the sub box. Looks like, uh, again, we're going to get G-Force rotating the subs. That's some great yards there. Absolutely, just driving that revolution defence back and really... They've got a really good roll on here, yeah. Let's see if they can set up for a scoop play or something like that. Here's Diaz now, he's been influential so far. Looking to drive forward, Hurd lays it off. Oh, an unbelievable pass and a take. Cracking long ball, left to right. Winger is free and it's a good score. Absolutely, G-Force extend their lead and they extend that gap to three points after the opening eight minutes. G-Force leading by four points to one. Run it in the right ethos. And um, and I think that we've, <laughs> we've definitely had some uh, performances that could have been improved, but I'd like to think that um, when we've needed to probably bar the custard game right um, I mean we still get you still get 11 scores you've got to be happy with that um, that actually that we've ma we've managed to um, to come good when we've needed to and that's another score there uh, it looks like a calf has gone as well yeah Diaz just running through and he's literally jogging a bit more now but he looked a bit stretching a bit gingerly as he was holding his car it was absolutely punishing heat um, and uh, you know, I've heard a few people talking and kind of talking about similar conditions to um, to the World Cup in Kuala Lumpur. I don't think it was quite that bad because of the humidity over there, but it was still it was a it was a hot day yesterday. It certainly was, and uh, I think we're all feeling it. Oh, it's yeah, a it's lovely good. ball out to the wing, well, right to left. Yeah, this is sort of becoming a bit of an exhibition now for G-Force. A superb pass over to the wing, excellently taken and. G-Force are playing some cracking touch, aren't they? They certainly are. We haven't seen them this weekend, but they're putting on a show for us. And they I think turnover. Revolution could probably be a bit smarter in their defensive set. So if you look, G-Force keep going to the box. As rightly, you want to get subs on, right? But Revolution still seem to be defending the whole of the pitch. If you want, you should probably be packing over towards... They're doing a bit better now, actually. Pack over towards their sub box so that you can block them off. G-Force still making the yards, though space to run into allowing them to advance forward Harper involved oh and Harper oh, dives the line no touch and they extend their lead exploit it revolution just creeping up forward trying to close it down that good hand two on one and that's a nice little score there in the corner Absolutely, their first of this second half. And they move to eight points to three. So that five point gap has been restored. Seven and a half minutes remaining on the scoreboard. Third breaking forward of Harper trying to drive over the truck. The That's a lovely line. dive. And the referee just confirms it, and it is their ninth of the game. And they are well on their way so it's just a link sweeper play by the looks of it there and uh, just managing to get outside the link and dive um, and dive in the space goal line just trying to match your manufacturer two on one on the outside there by the looks of it looks like it's going to come back this way see what revolution have got that's oh that's quite nice a little two. bounce play there oh is the ball away Oh, does he just get the ball down before that touch? Referee, I think, agrees. Yes, and uh, now they are on to double digits. G-Force lead by 10 points to four, and it was a good, incisive play. Absolutely, and now G-Force can recharge. And go again over the five metre. Look, it comes this near side, and they open up this Revolution's defence. And add another one, and that's 11 up for G4. Six point gap with two and a half minutes remaining. With 
just over a minute left remaining what are they going to do are they just going to relax their way or are they going to try and add another one seems to be the way they play he's trying to add as many I was about to say it's, uh, we'll score more than you and we'll see where we go from there absolutely here's Harper back oh, in. Oh, that's oh, there a we lovely go. little play there that just looks so effortless yeah so what you've got you've got your uh, far side link our right link as we see it looking like they're going to run um, uh, run a scoring line and then just back to the middle that's split and then pop the trail back in it's a really nicely constructed play with lots of different elements in it and uh, it's really really smart from G4 only 30 seconds left on the clock can they just add one more can they just finish off on a high switching it to the left Mallow gets it back on the five meter mark has to go back into the center looking to try and work an angle Allard running onto it with speed and pace. Can't power through though. And that Hooter will be sounding any second now. There is that Hooter, so final phase. It looks slightly forward. Revolution chucking up. Oh no. And there goes the touch, and that brings an end to the championship. Joined by Katie Fielding from the victorious G4 side, uh, heading home with a championship trophy, heading up with the championship cup, should I say. Um, how proud are you of the rest of the team in terms of your efforts this weekend? Really, really proud, actually, because we came here with not too many subs, facing a very hot day yesterday. We had to work really hard, playing some amazing teams, you know, always pushing our ability with some premiership sides. So we had three losses yesterday to, to come back, showed a lot of resilience with the team and to get three wins today. So I'm incredibly proud and very pleased. <laughs> Did it help a little bit it being a round robin this part of the competition for that, just based on what happened yesterday? Uh, yeah, I think so. It gives you a feel for all the different teams that are out there, the different abilities around the country, which is always improving. And you just get to try out some good stuff, some basics, you know, always sticking to what you know, but also trying some interesting moves as well. In terms of the club as a, as a whole, I mean, you've been playing for them for three years. How far have they come in that time to, to be pushing for silverware every, virtually every tournament now, it seems? Uh, we've come so far and that's come from the bottom up. We're working on our basics and with our developing players all the time. We're always pushing to get more training time as well. And our elite players put in so much work as well, always giving up their time to do coaching, come to tournaments and yeah, just always pushing on. Well, congratulations, Katie. We'll let you go off and get a trophy in just a second. And uh, enjoy the rest of the day in the sun. Thank you. Thank you very much.